Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my vlog channel where I pick one question from the previous video and try to answer it for you. So this question comes from user PanzerCanon01. So it says, my question for your next video, have you tried a great deal to deconvert any of your family members? I, like you, come from a super religious family, Christian. Both my immediate and extended family believe in a sky wizard. The problem is, no matter how much I point out the evils of the Bible and the evils of the church, the logical errors in their reasoning, they still continue to cling to their belief. Is there anything I can do to respectfully deconvert them or is it a lost cause? Oh, that's a tricky question. Uh, first question you asked is, have I ever tried to deconvert my family members? And the answer is no, I have not. Um, they are pretty religious, and I spend the majority of my time, whenever I am discussing religion with them, defending myself. So it's it's not something that I ever approach them with. It's something that normally I'm approached by them with. You know, either their concerns that I'm going to hell, or them trying to convert me back to being a Christian. You know, saying that I'm going through a phase, etc. Uh, so normally my conversations with family members dealing with religion are pretty much me just standing up for myself and why I'm not a Christian. It has never crossed the line of me trying to deconvert them. I know that it wouldn't go over well. I don't want to say that it's a lost cause because it kind of depends on the person. I mean, a lot of people might have looked at me three years ago and thought that I was a lost cause because I was a pretty hardcore Christian, evangelical, thought everyone was going to hell except for me and my small group of people. You know, I was very far on the other side. And I obviously am not like that anymore. So you don't want to say that anyone is a lost cause, but you have to kind of just gauge it depending on the person. I mean, I would defend yourself if they bring it to you with questions. I would be respectful. I would be calm. That's one really important thing because whenever I get into these discussions, I'm normally the only one who stays calm, which is kind of ironic because they say that I'm pushing my beliefs on them by posting videos on YouTube, which are optional to watch, yet they approach me with a very, you know, just negative attitude and, and kind of attacking sometimes, and I handle it as calmly as I possibly can. Um, so it, it just really, like I said, it depends on the person. I wouldn't say that it's a lost cause. I would say if you want to be an activist, be an activist, but, you know, don't ruin your family relationship because that's pushing it a little bit too far. If they bring the topic up, then talk about it. I wouldn't throw it in their face, though. And I would be outspoken in other areas. I'd be outspoken online. Um, and, and other arenas with people that you know that are open to that kind of conversation but don't be what you hate because a lot of atheists hate the way that religious people are very pushy so don't turn around and be that same person don't be pushy in other people and I know like I said people think that that's what I'm doing but I'm not you don't have to watch any of my videos I would never knock on someone's door and be like are you a Christian well you're an idiot I would never do that and I would never do that to my family so that's my best advice to you no one's really a lost cause but just be careful on who you approach and how you approach it it's better if they come to you and if you want to be outspoken there's tons of other areas where you can do that so I hope that this helped make sure to leave me your questions for my next video in the comment section below so I can decide what to answer and subscribe to this channel because it's pretty new and I'm trying to get things going so if you like this video subscribe leave me lots of questions and I'll see you guys next time bye